What's going on guys? It is June 27th. It's a Sunday and I'm gonna head down south to try and find again a annulata or a uh, Mexican milk snake or Tamalipa milk snake, whatever you call it. Um, it's probably one of the last chances I have this year of finding one just because, um, not saying that all of them, but most of them are found uh, early spring through spring, and uh, that's about it. Early summer, maybe, but it's not likely, but anyway. You also find them in the fall, uh, September, October, when conditions are right. Um, the part of South Texas that I usually go to got some rain today. Um, not a lot, but good amount in the area that I'm going to, so uh, temperatures are not as high. Uh, it's going to be, I believe, 79 and 11. So hopefully uh, we catch one moving on the road. And, uh, I'm able to show it to you guys. But uh, regardless, conditions are good, so we, we should see quite a bit of snakes moving. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna get there at a good time. It's uh, 5:47 right now. I'm about uh, 30 minutes into the drive, so uh, hopefully we get to see some diurnal animals. And um, yeah, should be fun. So stick around, and I'll catch up with you guys later. to the road it is 716 so I got an hour and about 20 minutes of sunlight so uh, hopefully we see some diurnal species some lizards maybe some um, some day daytime snakes that'd be awesome maybe a horny toad um, last time I came during the day I don't think I told you guys but I saw a reticulated collared lizard here, so if I could get close to one of those, that'd be awesome. Um, can't uh, put my hands on it because it is on the threatened list, but uh, maybe I can get a good shot of it. Anyway, um, I'll keep you guys updated. Massive man, just <laughs> huge bull. Guys, check what was crossing the road. Little horny toad. Very nice. It's a little female. Very beautiful. Man, the last three times I've come out here, I found. Uh, I think I found horny toads. At least last time I I did it, I found one. Very beautiful. Uh, I've donated the past five horny toads to the zoo for their breeding program. So I think I'm going to let this one go. Um, let it thrive here in its uh, native population. So um, I'll let it go. Very beautiful. Guys, first day crossing the road. Oh, female checkered garter. I can tell this is a female because it's bigger than the males. They get much larger and a little tail. 
check this girl out. Beautiful. Very nice. I was just crossing the road. Of course, these guys are feeding on frogs, toads, fish. I'm sure lizards. I'm good at doing that little sideway motion sideways motion what are you doing what are you doing crossing the road it's pretty early for them they're um, nocturnal anyway I'm gonna take some pictures and let it go all right guys Got a snake on the road. It's an Aatrox. Let's go check it out. Nice. Turn on my light. Very nice. Even though they're so common here, I still love to see them. I'm a Crotalus fan. Looks like a boy. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get going. It feels really good out. Um, stuff is obviously moving so i'm gonna snap some shots of this girl i mean of this guy and get going all right guys it is 9 18 um it's been dark for a little bit it's still a little bit light but sun went down about 20 minutes ago um, we've seen the uh, checkered garter and the Aatrox as well as the horny toad um, 80 degrees right now so let's get into that window uh, where uh, Lampros start moving so hopefully we get lucky here but uh, I'll catch you guys when I see the nest the next snake. Alright guys, got a little toad on the road. Or hat. Oh there it is. Let's see what kind it is. A little Texas toad. Very nice one. A lot of pattern on this one. Usually they fade out when they get older. This one's got quite a bit of pattern on it. Very nice take some pictures and get going all right guys got some sort of amphibian on the road let's go check it out it's a little rio grande leopard frog nice very nice um i'm gonna take some pictures of this healthy individual and keep going hopefully i'll start finding more snakes guys look at all these toads let's go check them out there's a bunch of uh, frogs or toads another rear grand leopard frog another rear grand leopard frog another rear grand leopard frog One, two. Man, they're everywhere. Very cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, it is 1017, 79 degrees. I haven't seen a snake in a while now. Uh, seen, seen plenty of amphibians, but no 
no stakes. Um, conditions are really good, so I don't know why stuff is not moving right now. Anyway, I'm gonna stick it stick it out a little bit longer and see uh, what I find. If I find anything else, hopefully. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, uh, stuff kind of stopped moving uh, after sundown. I didn't see a single snake, and I cruised for two hours. It's uh, almost 11 right now, so I think I'm gonna take an L. Uh, I might see some stuff on the way home if I do. Um, I'll let you guys know, but if not, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.